I can't really state how how awful some of these people are. They've burnt sheds down, burnt haystacks down. They've nailed farmers' dogs to barn doors. Really violent criminals. We've had hair coursing going on in the farm uh, as long as I can remember, certainly since I was a young boy. In the last two or three years, the activity has increased incredibly. They drive over crops, which at certain times of the year can be quite destructive to them. But they're also, they've, they've no respect for personal property, so they'll quite happily cut gates open, cut locks, chains, break gates, hedges, fences, drive over them, drive through them, whatever it takes to get onto, onto land. A typical incident, I pulled up behind the hair courses as one was trying to get into the vehicle to get away. And they started to set off, um, and I did as well. And at this point, I got quite close to the vehicle behind and they stopped immediately, slammed the brakes on, and uh, the guy who was out in the field, he jumped out and ran towards my vehicle, uh, threatening and shouting. Um, and I reversed up the road to, to keep a safe distance away. It was quite clear what his intent was. And in this particular incident, they were taking photos of me with their cameras. And I did say to them, why are you taking photos? And they said, exactly, you know exactly why we're taking photos. It wasn't far from my mind that they were going to come back at night and set fire to something, smash the house up, smash the car up, burn a barn down, because they've done it before. There have been instances in the past of, of local farmers that have been beaten up and put in hospital, and actually the guy came out of hospital and the next day he was beaten up again. When we're having incidences, you know, we can have two, three in a day, every other day for a week, and it really does feel like the Wild West almost, because it's just uh, constant. And there's no telling when you go out who you're going to meet and often it's obvious that you're a farmer as well so if you're out on the road you can be targeted whether you're in a tractor or a truck it's, it's quite psychological it can it can be quite cause quite a lot of anxiety the worst thing is the fact that we have young families here just right behind me is where my brother-in-law lives with his two young children i live in front with one young child my sister especially she's quite isolated in, in the house just uh, behind me she often is very worried about them coming back. She's got no real protection there. Her, her husband, my brother-in-law, he works long hours at times and isn't always at home, especially at this time of year. And we do know that they drive past there when they're driving around the farm, sometimes at quite fast speeds. And there's young children about playing on, on bikes and there's no control over who can be coming past and doing what. Having those kinds of people on the, on the farm, in the area, in the community, it's really quite worrying. So we've got to try and get some prosecutions, get arrests.